what is so cool about it is literally in the discount bin almost hidden from sight is a bunch of baits that if you were on the old ebay looking for a cc shad or a grappler shad you'd probably be paying 10 bucks a piece and here they're 250. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. I didn't actually plan to film an episode of Retro Bassin this evening, and Walmart might not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of fishing it old school. But happy to be down here in Del Rio, Texas for a little bit of a work trip. Stopped at my local Walmart, took a quick look around, and immediately ran to the car to get my camera. Why you ask? Well, no, we suddenly didn't get sponsors here at Retro Bassin, but I found some old school gems that I just had to show you guys. One of the biggest bits of feedback that I get on this channel is folks love the walkthroughs we do of local independently owned tackle shops. Trouble is, and a lot of the Bassin buds let me know, there is no such local shop near them. Well, today we are in the Fishinala Walmart, and I hope to prove to you that even if the only tackle shop you have near you is Walmart, you can still fish it old school. One of the best tips I got for hunting old school gold at Walmart came from my Bassin bud Todd over at Bassin 101 YouTube channel. And what Todd told me, it's kind of interesting, but there's a number of Pradco baits that are sort of in that discontinued uh, category, but for some reason, Walmart sells them in their discount bin for like less than three bucks. We are in the section of different fishing kits. They've got some fishing kits that we're not gonna talk about today, but they've got some different stuff that I've definitely gotta show you guys. I've located the bin of old school Pradco baits looks like these are all cotton cordels but check this out this is a ton of baits that are all for sale for two dollars and fifty cents so one of the interesting things about this and I didn't really think about it until Todd told me but they've got a number of baits that have been discontinued for Pradco they're not available for sale almost anywhere except here at Walmart so looking in the old discount bin, it looks like we've got some baits like this, which are still available. This is a Pradco Cotton Cordell Super Spot, but for 250, you cannot beat that. Ah, we've got a uh, nice Fred C. Young Big O. Uh, again, for $2.50, man, that is a honey of a little crankbait. Ooh, there's a nice big O in a red crawfish pattern. That thing would look pretty good on the old Lornette paint shop. Oh man, actually I might grab that. <laughs> Here's another nice big O in a matte fire tiger pattern. Uh, very nice. So what else do we have in here? So here's a bait that, I don't know the name of this. Let's see what it's called. Uh, this is the uh, CAB uh, FLT Minnow. So the FLT Minnow, I don't know if that's an old school bait or not. I don't recall that one. It's definitely not a red fin, I can tell you that much. Ooh, another big O in a bluegill pattern. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> That's like a matte bluegill. Oof, man. Oh, okay. Here's one that I have not seen uh, in a long, long time. So this one is called the Cotton Cordell Grappler Shad. This is a what I thought was a discontinued bait. I don't know when this thing came out. 
uh, but it is a crankbait from Cotton Cordell. And looks like they've got the grappler in a couple of different pretty cool patterns. So they've got this one, which is called uh, Fancy Shad. Here's another grappler in bluegill. I like that bluegill actually. That's kind of old school looking and it's definitely a matte finish, which I also like. Ooh. <laughs> There's a grappler in a very old school looking orange crawfish pattern. Y you see what I'm talking about, Bass and Buds? That is too cool. So here's a different bait. What is this thing called? Uh, the wafer shad in fire tiger. Check out that badass, because I think it looks a whole lot like a storm fin fin. I don't even know if I've heard of that bait before, but I, I pretty much uh, can guarantee that is a old school, formerly discontinued bait from, from Cotton Cordell. The wafer shad. Okay, here is what I actually came here to look for. I have been on a little kick of throwing this thing. This is the Cotton Cordell CC Shad. It is a bait that, I don't know if they still sell this on the Lornet website. It might have been discontinued at one point or maybe they still make it, they just don't sell it too, too often. But it is a very finesse crankbait. It is really meant to be thrown on a spinning rod and it is awesome for clear lakes with shad. Here's a nice one in a, looks like a white with a black top and a red belly. Let's see the name of this color. Uh, this is called Shad Pearl Black and Red. Makes sense. Ooh, there's another CC Shad in a very KVD style looking color. Looks like some sort of sexy Shad. What is this thing called? Probably sexy Shad. Uh, shad Pearl Shad. Woo, look at that and tell me that would not catch a bass on a clear lake. Woof, the old school CC Shad. It even says it on the bill. Of course, you probably can't see that. And last, looks like you got a nice old school Cotton Cordell Super Spot and a pretty saucy crawfish pattern. But either way, what is so cool about it is literally in the discount bin, almost hidden from the site, is a bunch of baits that if you were on the old eBay looking for a CC Shad or a Grappler Shad, you'd probably be paying 10 bucks a piece and here, they're 250. Oh, I just spotted something else pretty cool in the same old section here. So what does this say? A classic kits from Cotton Cordell. Looks like an Arbogast, Bomber, Hedden, Cotton Cordell, and Rebel. So these are lure kits, I'm guessing. I have never seen these before. So let's check out the first one. Looks like a Fred Arbogast hula popper in a red and white and a frog pattern, as well as an old school jitterbug in the old ultralight size. Nice. Oh, here's another nice kit from Cotton Cordell, the old school Big O in three different patterns. Uh, looks like a sort of a green shad, a bluegill translucent, and a baby bass. Nice. Uh, another ultralight kit from Rebel. Uh, looks like uh, going top to bottom, we've got a Wee Popper, a Crick Hopper, a Wee Crawl, and some sort of little Rebel crankbait. I don't know the name of that guy. Let me see if I can find a box where they're not all kind of turned on their side for you. Nah, every box is kind of turned on their side. But I don't know the name of that crankbait. Is that like a, a Wee R maybe? <laughs> Super awesome though. Look at that. Uh, the old school Rebel kit. And the last kit in here looks like a bomber kit. Uh, I see three little bomber A's. These two look smaller than the big guy. Looks like a chartreuse bass, a baby bass, and sort of a white shad pattern. I'll have to do a price check on these. I've got a feeling these kits are somewhere around 10 bucks a piece. And What's so crazy is this thing looks brand new. Like who knows how long this has been sitting on the shelf, but not a one has been taken before today. 
Uh, anything else in the uh, lower kit section? Uh, this is interesting, a little Pond Magic kit from Booyah. Uh, I don't throw a ton of Booyah stuff, to be honest with you. Um, I, I think they kind of came out with their spinnerbaits a little bit after my time of sort of getting all my spinnerbait brands locked in. Uh, but those are three good looking little pond baits that I guarantee you, I could totally crush some bass in some apartment ponds with those dudes. And that's $7.80 for three little spinnerbaits. That ain't bad. Uh, what are the kits that we have that are not uh, mystery kits? Huh. Okay, here we go. So this is from Cream, and for some reason, Walmart carries a ton of Cream products, and I love it. So this is a Cream Fish and Favorites hard bake kit. You've got five little mini crankbakes. Looks like sort of a, a eighth ounce rattle trap. Five of them for five bucks. Are you kidding me? That is too cool. And I'm totally gonna grab a kit or two because honestly, anything cream, family owned company, uh, is old school gold in my book, even if it's new school Walmart stuff. So moving the old cart just a little bit down the aisle from the lure kits, came across this, another pretty cool offering from Pragco that I've actually been eyeing up on their website. This is the Classic Bass Tackle Collection. Uh, 20 bucks, you get five baits. And what are the five baits? It says it on the back here. Uh, it is a um, Cotton Cordell Super Spot, a, a Boss Pop from uh, Bone Shiner Booyah, Crazy Shad from Cotton Cordell, awesome old school bait, uh, Square A, as well as a Suspending Rattling Rogue. So there's the kit from Lornet. <laughs> Honestly, I just love the look of that. And a kit that, well, it's upside down. A kit that you don't see, honestly, anywhere else. I, I think I've seen this on their website, but I've never seen this in another tackle shop aside from uh, the old Walmart. Too funny. Speaking of cream, they do have some other cream stuff right here within arm's reach. Uh, here is an old school, ready for action, cream scoundrel on that old school rig with the spinner. Folks who don't know, this was the original plastic worm developed by Nick Cream in his kitchen in Ohio, eventually landing in Tyler, Texas, and it was based on a old school live night crawler. In fact, here's one in the old night crawler pattern. This is still probably my favorite color of the old Cream Scoundrel, or as it was called when it first came out, the Cream Wiggle Worm. It's so moving on down the line here at Walmart. And I had to stop at a little section of man's worms that I see. Uh, we've got the original jelly worm with Paul Elias on the cover. Look at that, that looks like probably the old 12 inch jelly worm. I don't think I've ever caught a bass on a 12 incher. I used to throw the eight, I think it was, a pretty good bit on the old Tidal Potomac, but I've never thrown the 12, but being so close to Mexico as we are, uh, right on Amistad, it would make sense that we've got some big old black worms to throw. And, yep, blackberry. <laughs> All right, I gotta show you this section here. So there is a ton of tackle boxes, as you know, Walmart. So I do a fair bit of searching on eBay for old school tackle boxes. I love a lot of the old school Planos, the Flambos, and Umcos. But I just spotted one that definitely has some old school flair to it. Check out this thing from Flambo. Looks like my bass boat, by the way. Uh, this is the old Hip Roof 7 Tray Tackle Box for $27. I think I gotta open this thing just to see what it looks like. <laughs> It's got the old uh, barley pop holders up top, which is always good if you are making beer cans float out there. <laughs> Let's check this thing out. Okay, look at this. If that doesn't look like an old school kind of tackle box, I don't know what does. Oh my goodness. Um, you could probably put an old school lure or two in there, couldn't you? <laughs> it's about ready to get out of here and I spotted another pretty cool section 
of old school style cream baits. Uh, these look like a bunch of ultralight hard baits uh, in their it's the same thing line. So this is pretty interesting, but what they've done, I think this is back like sort of a legacy to the old school night lures days, but they would have baits that were very similar to other baits that you would get at a much discounted price. So these hard baits, which resemble, well, an old Rebel Wee Crawl. Uh, what else do we have? Um, there's a little lima bean uh, lure. What is that called? Is that the Tad Poly from Rebel as well? Um, looks like a little mini minnow. Anything else in here uh, of interest? Um, another little baby bass colored uh, Tad Poly style lure. Ooh, yeah. Nice little micro uh, minnow. Anyway, all of these baits are $1.24. So that is pretty cool because, you know what, nothing makes me more nervous than throwing an old school lure on four or six pound test line. But if you wanted to fish it old school and didn't necessarily want to lose an old school style bait, you could throw this in a worst case scenario, you lose about a buck and a quarter if you get it hung up or broken off. And that ain't too bad. All right, Bass and Buds, it is time for Old Retro to check out. Thanks again to Todd over at Bass and 101 for the hot lead on quote unquote discontinued Pradco baits. I'll see y'all next Saturday. But until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. All right, I know this is a fishing channel, but I just had to stop by the twelve to show you that everybody is going retro these days. Check it out, an old school frocked panthor from Masters of the Universe. All right, let's see how many folks you guys remember from the back of this package. So we got old panthor here, battle cat, zodak, looks like merman, battle armor skeletor, Roboto, is that she-ra, and battle armor he-man. Yeah, I know, I just lost my cool card, like, forever. <laughs> Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bastards.